Now, we want to turn now our attention to Iowa's first district race between incumbent Marionette Miller Meeks and Christina Bohannon. It's a rematch of the 22, 2022 election that Miller Meeks won by seven points. Now, this race was listed as a true toss up by the Cook Political Report. And looking at results, you can see 64% reporting, and those margins are pretty thin, about 20,000 votes separating the two of those. So, we're going to send it back to Jenna. What are you seeing when it comes to this race? Yeah, guys, this has been an interesting race to watch because we really have been seeing it kind of go back and forth, how they're competing against each other. For the first time, we are starting to get some of Scott County's results. Right now, Christina Bohannon narrowed lead there, 51.1% of the vote to Miller Meeks is 48.9% of the vote. This is going to be a very key county. We know of the active registered voters in this district. The most are in Scott County and Johnson County, which Christina Bohannon will have with that Democratic stronghold there. So it'll be very interesting to see if Scott County is what puts her over the lead over Miller Meeks or if Miller Meeks will hold on to that tonight. Because again, a third of the registered voters there are not affiliated with the party. So which one is going to win those over, guys? Yeah, so let's send it over to Riverside, Iowa, where Maddie Franz is at Marionette Miller Meeks campaign party. Uh, Maddie, it seems like it's filling out a little bit compared to some of your previous live hits with us. Yeah, good evening, John and Shelby. Yeah, it is starting to fill out a bit more, and part of that is because just a few minutes ago, uh, Representative Marionette Miller-Meeks walked in the door. There was a lot of applause. Um, someone shot off some bubbles. Uh, a lot of people came up and took pictures with her, chatted with her, um, gave her some hugs. Um, and yeah, so right now she is not talking to the media, but she did say that she's had a very busy day of some last minute campaigning. She said that she woke up at about 345 this morning to go here and there all the way across the district. Um, now, once now in the last few minutes, you know, these conversations have been getting louder as we're seeing uh, some of the votes come in, some of the electoral college stuff nationally. People are pretty closely watching all of these screens in here. Now, like Shelby mentioned, uh, that Cook Political Report analysis is pretty much a toss-up. I mean, it really could go either way, and that's what drew a lot of ad spending into this district. Now, that came from uh, national super PACs uh, on both sides of the aisle. Uh, according to uh, Ad Impact, which is an ad analysis uh, company, there are nearly $24 million spent on all of these ads that you've been seeing for months and months and months, and especially ramping up in the last few weeks. You've seen a lot of ads from both sides. So uh, we'll, we'll know in just a few minutes um, when Marionette Miller Meeks goes up on stage, and um, we'll be able to bring that to you as soon as we hear that. All right, Maddie, very good. Thank you. We'll send it over now to Iowa City, where Harrison Belsanti has been with the Christina Bohannon party all night. Harrison, a lot of energy there, uh, it seems like, throughout the night. Uh, how is it now as we get some of these uh, early numbers? Hey, John. Uh, it's still pretty packed in here, as you guys can see. A little bit less traffic, not as many people walking in front of the cameras before, but, uh, yeah, still pretty, uh, still pretty rowdy. We're definitely still waiting for... Uh, Christina to come make an appearance here. Uh, about 200 of supporters or so um, all waiting here for Christina to come out and uh, address what's been going on uh, with this election and uh, see what she has to say about everything. Uh, for many, Bohannon's pro-abortion approach to abortion is enough to make them vote blue in this race. Um, we'll, we'll continue to bring you more updates on this race as we're made available, uh, but for now we'll go ahead and send things back to you guys in the studio. All right, Harrison, thank you. Okay, 